Hi, so this is Nicholas. It's uh, 20 past 11 on Monday evening. I spent this evening looking at another solution for a native editor for MicroPython and the micro bit. Uh, instead of using a Chrome based application, um, I'm using something that's based upon the Qt or Qt. Uh, framework and uh, Python scripts as well. So this is entirely written in Python as well. Um, and this is cross-platform, so it will run on Windows, OS X, and uh, Linux. Uh, Qt comes with a built-in editor widget and a serial uh, library, so that allows me to connect to the REPL. Um, as you can see, I've made it look very similar to the way the Chrome-based application looks, although none of these buttons are actually plugged in. I was just experimenting with the look and feel. Uh, I've managed to uh, create um, an editor widget here. So this is a standard sort of Python editor. Uh, this is a Python editor. That's my comment. And then I could do from micro bits import everything and then display dot show Whoops, a uh, happy face for me. Um, and then once I've connected things together, when you click flash, that uh, will be able to um, copy the hex file over onto the device and restart it, etc. cetera. Uh, REPL will toggle the REPL, which you'll find down here. So if I restart the micro bit, uh, you'll see, here we are, we're connected again, and I can do interesting things like this uh, display dot show image dot sad because it's a bit sad because it's not finished yet um, and import this all that sort of stuff um, so we have a working REPL um, and a working editor that looks quite nice um, and something that looks vaguely like a very simple editor for kids um, a la the Chrome based editor I created yesterday evening or finished yesterday evening. Uh, it's important to note that a lot of this work is based on stuff that I did a few months back over the summer with Damien, um, who's the creator of MicroPython and especially Dan Pope, um, which is based in turn upon his puppy editor. And uh, I've essentially called this uh, Mu, uh, micro um, editor, and I've created what we call an MVP minimal minimum viable project product uh, to see um, how far I could get in the evening and I think I've got quite far so I'll continue with these explorations um, over this week and I have some people online on IRC who were perhaps interested in collaborating with me on this um, once I've tidied up a bit of the hacky code that I've created uh, I'm going to document it and push it to GitHub so people can get stuck in. Okay, thanks for listening. Happy to answer questions.